Every website these days have JavaScript. These JavaScript, when they fail silently, they can cause a lot of trouble. These JavaScript errors might result in a bad experience for your customers, visitors on your site. They might also prevent users from doing what they intend to do, such as click on a button, fill a form, click on a link, etc. Depends on how that JavaScript is implemented on your site, the problems can be many. A lot of time, these JavaScript errors are undetectable, but not anymore. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to capture JavaScript errors using Google Tag Manager. Once you capture them in Google Tag Manager, then you can send them to any tag that you would like. In this lecture, I will show you how to send them as events to Google Analytics. So let's get started. Google Tag Manager has inbuilt capability to capture all these JavaScript errors. So you have to enable certain variables which contain error information, then create a trigger that will capture all this information, and then finally create a tag to send all this information to that tag. In this case, Google Analytics tag to send them as events. So go ahead and click on variables, configure, and make sure all these error variables are checked. Error message, which contains the message of the error, the URL which triggered that error, where the error happened, the line number where the error happened, and debug mode only tells you whether you are running Google Tag Manager in debug mode or not. We are going to leave it as it is, unchecked. So these three variables are the ones we are going to use and send over to Google Analytics once we're done. So go ahead and click X. Now you've got all these variables. You can see them right here. Next step is to create a trigger to capture all this information. New trigger. And let's call it JavaScript error trigger. Click to create a new trigger. Scroll down and you have a JavaScript error trigger type. Go ahead and select it. And we are going to capture all JavaScript errors. We wanna see what's going on. Go ahead and save it. So now your trigger is created and it's ready and it can capture all the errors that are happening. Now we just need to send this information to a tag where we can start to track them. So go ahead and click on tags new tag and let's call it GA JavaScript error tag or whatever name you prefer. Click in the middle to configure it. Universal analytics and we are going to capture it as an event. So go ahead and click on event and you've got category action and label. We're going to call the category as JavaScript error so that we can track all these errors in one place. For action, go ahead and click on this icon. We are going to pick the variable that we are going to send over to Google Analytics. And let's click error message. And I also want to capture the line number where this error occurred. So I am going to add that line number variable here as well. So give a space. and pick the other variable that we need, which is error line. You'll see that I did not use any double quotes, single quotes, ampersands, pluses, etc. This field or any of these fields are just simple text fields. All we are doing is picking a variable, a text value, and a variable. I'm gonna give another space here. So now it'll be error message line number and error line. For the label, I'm gonna pick another variable, which will be the error URL. So I can see error message, the line the error occurred on, and which is the URL that triggered this error. Everything else I'll leave as it is. Next, I'm going to not count this as a page view. So click on, it's a non-interaction hit, and then pick GA tracking ID to identify which property this event is going to. Go ahead and hit save. Now you can add your trigger. We already defined this trigger, so go ahead and pick it and save. Now your JavaScript error tag is available. So let's go ahead and preview this. And now you are in the preview mode. Go to your website where you push this to, analytics higher in this case. I've created this page specifically so I can test the JavaScript errors. Go ahead and reload it 
so that website can trigger preview mode. So you'll see GA tag got fired. I'm gonna click this button, which is going to trigger a JavaScript behind it. That JavaScript has a message and there is also an error. So go ahead and click on this button. As you can see, the message came up. JS test was clicked, it should register an error. This is the JavaScript. Go ahead and click OK. And now you'll see the JavaScript error tag got triggered. Click on it and you can see action uncaught reference i is not defined line number four that's your error message and line number category is javascript error and then where this occurred it occurred in common.js if you do a view source and here's your common.js click on it and we can see this javascript here is the alert message that you got this is the line that threw the error i purposely created an error in this javascript so we can capture it Now go ahead to Google Analytics and you can see this page that was triggered. Let's go ahead and look at real time and events. Here is a JavaScript error event uncaught. So you got all this information right here. Click on this uncaught reference error, which is your action line number and the URL that triggered the error. So that's it folks. Once you're done, go back to your tag manager and click on submit. Give a name. You can give any version name that you want. I'm calling it whatever I pushed out. And then description and go ahead and publish it. Now you'll start tracking JavaScript errors in Google Analytics. By capturing all these JavaScript errors, you will be able to create error-free website and give a great experience to your users as well as drive more conversions and clicks.